Today starts a two month series where I'll be showing you how I went from someone who had no idea how a camera works and had no connections in videography to where I'm at now and the problems I'm trying to overcome. I'm not gonna lie, I'm figuring this out as I go. With tape last night, it definitely was not ideal. So the top piece to put attachments onto was broken. And I went to the wrong town. It's basically just a light attachment. I tacked on a six game. People kept walking through the door as I was trying to do it. People who just want to knock you down. Hey, I love that. that. That gives me motivation. Okay, it's currently Monday night. I am so very tired right now. I need to drive back to North Jersey, so I need to pack everything up. So I'm just gonna let the video play, and you guys can see the process of how long this is gonna take to clean up. It's currently nine o'clock. Let's hope I'm done by 9.30, and then I can get there by 10.30. Okay, so I pretty much got everything. I did a double check a few times. Obviously there's no mouse, there's no keyboard. No mouse, no keyboard. I need to grab the tower. And then I already have this tower over here. I got my drone right here, wires, all my hard drives and wires. And then I have a camera in there that I need to grab, as well as my main camera right here. Okay, we're live from the car at 10.30. Yeah, it took me a while. I'm gonna talk about that in a second, but first I'll show you what it looks like inside the car. So again, I got my tower to the right. Got another tower down there. All my stuff in the back. I always put my drone in the back. So I got a little over an hour drive back to the apartment. Again, I'm leaving from my parents' house. If you didn't see the first, episode i'm going back and forth so my parents house is an hour from the apartment my apartment's close to new york city but i come home because i still have clientele in my parents area the big job that i'm working on right now is for a sports network i have a vision for where it can go in the future too it's a lot of time and effort that i could be spending elsewhere but i know that if i don't give it 100 percent and go all in on it that i'll always wonder so that's why i'm kind of putting myself through this mess so why did it take me so long to get in the car this is another perfect example of me just trying to push myself when i need to stop all day i've been feeling kind of burnt out tomorrow i should try to take it easy a little bit i've been on my phone a lot just like checking and updating videos and because my company's still small like it's always me posting it's me doing pretty much everything i have to drive an hour so i won't get back till around like 11 30 and then i still have all this stuff in my car it's tuesday morning i am back at the apartment i have all my stuff finally it took me a little bit this morning to put all the computer stuff together i definitely feel more fresh I have a meeting later today with a realtor. I'm researching that right now and getting ready for that, what I'm going to ask him and getting a location to run the shoot. Basically, I'm just going to be sitting down with him, asking him some questions, and then using video from that to make him some reels. And then, yeah, just trying to build a relationship there. I also sent out another proposal today, and then I need to check in on the car dealership that I sent a proposal into last week. I know they received it because they said received, so I might follow up with them today. Might just show up tomorrow. All right, so it's currently 4 o'clock. I am getting ready ready for this realtor shoot. Right here to my left, I have the backpack that I had given one of the other videographers. He's not available this week, so I have it with me. And then I have the camera that he was using here. Again, my camera. I'm gonna use this as the second shot camera, so I'm gonna put that in a uh, tripod. And then to my right, I have my main backpack with my main camera. And then, you know, I have tons of wires going on right now because I was just charging everything, making sure it's ready. I charge my lights in case I needed to use them. The shoot is at 6 p.m., so I'm probably gonna get there around 5, 5.15, set up. I don't really need it to set up that much time, but it's always good to be early. Also, this is my first time meeting him so i want to be prepared okay so i'm about to leave to go set up i also just got off the phone with a client so one of the basketball teams that i filmed for the dad asked if i could fly a drone in a convention center so basically in like a large space so i gotta wake up early go there but yeah i'm gonna head out now to go meet with the realtor okay so i just wrapped up with the realtor i was only here maybe an hour and a half but most of the time i was here i spent setting up it really wasn't that hard i have my umbrella right here this is for extra light i didn't have to using it I just had it set up in case it got darker, in case I needed it. I just wanted to have it set up and ready because I didn't want to do it in front of him, waste his time. Behind him to see where he was sitting, and then I was pointing my camera near towards the seat, and then there was also a second camera over here pointing at the seat as a second angle. So it really wasn't that bad. And then over to the right some more. Over here is where I did a second shot. I had him sitting down just for some B-roll. And then I had him walking on this path over here for some B-roll. And then I had him do a very short video segment in front of this tree. Just in case he didn't like where I put him. He's not going to tell me that. So I just did this, you know, in case. I at least have one video that he likes. I'm going to head home now. Make sure I don't forget anything. I'm in the car driving back to the apartment. When I first met with the realtor, 
you know, it's obviously awkward at first because I'd never met him in person. Anyway, you know, I've been working a ton on the sports stuff that I'm doing right now. I'm just trying to build that while in tandem during the week I'm doing this. And I do also have a full-time job, which I haven't really talked about. When you're working for yourself, it's just different. I don't see it as like money. I see it as a foundation rather than depending on someone else. Plus, I get to call the shots. Every failure is a failure for me. Every success is from me as well. That's obviously not true all the time, but for the most part, that's the truth. Still haven't heard Brad back from that car dealership that I reached out to. I mean, you gotta give them their time, but at the same time, I don't wanna let it sit for too long because then they could forget and then they just might not care. It's currently just before 5.30 a.m. on Wednesday. Again, I'm driving to go to this convention center and I'm gonna be flying the drone inside. It will be interesting. I definitely wanna be careful with the drone. Very possible I could run into an issue. When they had asked me, when can you come? This was the earliest time that they gave me and I took that intentionally because there's an error. I could always come back later today or tomorrow morning. I also brought my camera. Again, I don't really know what I'm walking into. So it's always good to get more footage rather than less. You could always take stuff out and add stuff in afterwards. I guess I will see you guys there. Okay, back on the phone and back in the car. So what ended up happening was I met the client. They had some sort of event for the food market. I meet him and he's like, can you fly through these doors? Once you get through the door, then raise it up into the air gradually while you're looking down at all of the convention center space. People kept walking through the door as I was trying to do it. He was just like, oh, you have a chance now. And I, I was just like, no, let me like wait till like I see that there's no one there. I went through, I went up, he asked me to take some pictures. So I made sure I went as far back as I could while also being away from the wall. I had to put the drone in sport mode. So I had to put the drone in a certain mode where it no longer was using like autopilot to sense the walls around it. It was all on me. Every time I lost view of the drone or I lost good sight of it or a good angle on it, I just stopped it and let it hover for a second. And then I adjusted my pace. But for the most part, the drone was going through the aisles and I was right behind it, underneath it, which is the best way to do it. And I was letting the trigger. There was a challenging part though, where a separate space all the way in the back. And then there was one little hole inside the curtain to enter. So I had to slowly, gradually come like this. And then once I went through the space, I had to turn it to enter and then come back up. When I'm editing it, I'll throw a transition over it. It could have been a mess if I'd hit any of the wires. Whenever I saw one, I was going either way above it or way below it. Overall, I think it went pretty well. At the end, actually, I went to take a drone shot of the exterior of the building and I was doing it. And then he saw the guy I was talking with. So he came outside and asked if I could do some other things. I went up, I reached the maximum that you're supposed to fly 400 feet. And he's like, oh, can you go higher? And I had to tell him, no, like it's against the law. It wasn't worth the risk. It, nothing good was gonna come from me breaking the law. In that situation, I've crashed my drone one time ever and it keep stopped working. Keep left onto DeGraw Avenue. There's then keep right toward T-neck. There's the GPS. With a $4,000 drone, it's just not worth it. I'm not risking that. But yeah, once I get home, quickly put the footage onto my hard drive, just look at it really quick, just to make sure that I have everything I need. If something went wrong, I could always go back tomorrow morning, which is what I don't wanna do. But yeah, that's why I'm gonna check now while the event is still happening. I have the realtor from yesterday. I have more football stuff I need to get ready. I also have this footage, and then I also have some other things that are kind of just looming. Okay, so live from the apartment, what we've been working on, the volleyball video that I still have to edit that I filmed at the end of last week. I've also been working on the graphics for football this week. I think I answered some emails. I think I organized the drone footage a little bit because I had to from yesterday. I'll show you what's important right now. This Savage right here. What's also taking me a lot of time is updating the Instagram. Tomorrow, what I'm planning to do again is I'm planning to drive back to my home area, film a game, and then I have to drive to Philly again to film a video. Okay, and we're live from the apartment. Uh, Ali Dirigi, what do you have to say? Well, I'm not gonna include that. Here, why don't you take the camera and talk? And then we have Charlie. He's my son, not yours then. He's just your acquaintance. All right, tell them a little bit about Charlie and me. Um, well, apparently he says we're just friends. So this guy's my son. Yeah, well. Yep. And then this guy's just my acquaintance. Well, if you called me your girlfriend, I would have a lot of nice things to say. Oh, no. But I don't have anything nice right now. How much time do I spend on my computer? Like five minutes? <laughs> no, like... 17 hours a day. So 17 hours minus 24 is what? Seven? I sleep for seven hours and then I do videography for the rest of the day. World's most handsome dog. How old is he? Four. Your world's most handsome man if he starts calling me his girlfriend. Is there anyone else here? The world's most handsome dog, four years running and he's four years old, four years young. Hey, I'm Allie. I'm supposed to be his girlfriend, but. So now that I got canceled, it's gonna be a late night for me. I guess I won't be getting those seven hours. Yep, good night. I'll be getting one at most. Good night. 
currently Thursday night. I'm driving to go film a game tomorrow. Ali here. Wow. So much happening. So interesting. It's also hot as frick in here. Yep, keep it PG, keep it PG. We like that. Hot as frick? And yeah. What about hot as frack? Is that PG? It's almost 10 o'clock. And then. Please go on the computer. Okay, I'm about to get in trouble again. I will see you tomorrow on Friday. It's Friday afternoon. We actually have six games tonight. The company has us going to five, and then I tacked on a six game because there was a parent that asked if we could do their game. So I used those funds to hire another videographer. Now, the reason why I did that is because I just want to keep building the publicity. The more games equals more content, equals more engagement, equals more views. I want more people to find out about this right now. And they're all Friday night games, so they're all gonna be happening tonight. So it's gonna be very heavy tonight. Leading up till now, I was working the full-time job. In between when I could, I was also working on the vlog from week one, I'm still working on that. I also wrapped up some other little things I had to do for the videographers. And then tomorrow, Saturday, I'm going back to Philly, but this time to film a DJ event. Also tomorrow, I'm filming some basketball for a basketball program that I work for. So a lot of sports still. I'm still waiting to hear back from the car dealership. And then the last thing would be there was a nice Italian restaurant that I worked for a while back. Also waiting for him to get back to me on a meeting time. So I'm going to head to the football game now. I have a far drive from the apartment back to the Jersey Shore. I want to get there. I'm taking photos and pregame for the team, and then I'll be doing the game recap, so the full video of the full game. I need to put my editing computer back in the car. Again, such a pain to keep bringing it back and forth, but that's what I gotta do. All right, so I'm currently at the football game. I got here about an hour and 20 minutes before start, so I was able to fly the drone a little bit. You get like a field shot. So I was taking pictures for the team in pregame, the home team. And then during the game, I'm going to be recording for the network and then also for the team. So again, just like last week, as the game's happening, I'm going to need to be throwing up updates on the Instagram account. So that my sports Instagram account and tagging the network with the score updates. So that's halftime and the final score, as well as on Twitter. So I kind of have my own little method for how to do it quickly, but uh, it's still challenging because, you know, there's going to be six games going on at the same time. So the other games have started already because they're an hour earlier. So I should be getting their halftime scores right when my game starts. Um, I'm also going to position myself so that I am outside of the locker rooms right before the game starts because I'm here early and then I'll walk in with the team to get some really good video of them. So it's Saturday morning. I'm on my way to a basketball tournament. I'm heading there now. The program has a bunch of teams, so they have different age groups. I basically just get different content from each team and then come up with social media posts for them. I got up around 7 a.m. this morning and I was up late last night. And I was basically just working on the game recap highlights along with some clips and then just organizing other footage. Definitely gonna be a long day today because I have the filming at the DJ event in Philly and I'm gonna be up really late. I'm a little annoyed with myself because I drove to the wrong gym. I'm gonna be a little bit late to the first game, but it's not a huge deal because I'm gonna be at like four games in a row for this program. I definitely have a lot of editing to do. So after today, I'm gonna focus on editing a lot of the footage next week. Just kind of backlogged on editing. So filming wise, I kind of need to take a break for a little bit and just kind of catch up on my editing. Last night I got two important sequences up, so clips on Instagram. And then there was also a game recap highlight video that I got done, so one of the six. And then I finished another one this morning, it's just exporting right now. So I have two of the six done. And then the other four, once the other videographers send them in, I'll be able to just quickly throw them together and then export. And then the rest of the time is me basically just waiting for the uploads. in the car it's 1 15 right now again the dj event that i'm doing is not until late tonight like 11 p.m it starts the guys that i'm filming for are on for about an hour yeah these past two weekends have been super busy i think going forward i need to prioritize the football on the weekends and then during the week the non-sports related videography that i'm doing all right so it's currently saturday night i am in philadelphia to do the dj event i'm actually driving right now i left their apartment because i need to go pick up tape long story short i mean i normally wouldn't use tape on my camera but so i have three obviously like i've talked about in the past videos but right now i have two of them and one of the two I had it for a really good deal because the top piece on the camera the part where you can add attachments to is broken and i didn't think i'd really ever need to use it because i have the third i have the other two and i was like i'm never gonna need three attachments but the other guys having my cameras was that the one that i have doesn't have the attachment instead of a club it's gonna be super dark i need the light from the loom cube which fingers crossed i don't have any problems because i gotta go back and then walk over the, with them to the bar so i guess i'll check in with you guys later tonight or tomorrow
Okay. So we just finished up at the DJ event. My brother Andrew is recording right now. So that was my first time doing a DJ event, but it wasn't my first time doing the party. So one of the biggest strategies is you want to have a really low f-stop. So when you're recording, you want to crank your f-stop all the way down to the bottom. So I have a lens that's f 1.8 so that helps me get a lot of light and then i also have a speed booster so speed booster is like an attachment for your camera and that basically helps your f-stop go even lower i was at f 1.2 it's still super dark so like i said earlier i had the, the loom cube which is basically just a light attachment on top of the camera and yeah it's a bit awkward because everybody's looking at you in a dark spot and you're the only one with a flash you keep looking down at your camera and no one really cares it's about 1 a.m right now i've been going since 7 a.m this morning when i got up to edit i filmed two separate things today Andrew and I still have an over an hour car ride home. What I'll do over the next week is I'll just edit. So I have a lot to catch up on. It's Sunday morning. I need to drive back home to my apartment. It was a very late night. We didn't get back to like 2 a.m. I am beat and I was up from 7 a.m. to 2 a.m. So I almost did a 24 hour day and there was a lot of work involved inside of it. Today, I have a family event in the afternoon and then in the morning I'll be working on the editing as well. I have a bunch of videos done, I just need to upload. So instead of waiting here and uploading, I'm just gonna go back and then upload there. That way I have everything set up. As you can see, I keep wearing these polo with the LAZ and I have multiple of them. I always like to dress with my logo on it. My backpack also has my logo on it. It's just something I like to do. A lot of people like to like dress comfortable or their style. There's a style to photography, videography. So dressing that way and showing your personality is cool. But this is something that I like to do because it helps keep the logo and the company name in people's minds when they meet me. Another thing I didn't get to bring up last night at the DJ event, I'm gonna show a picture on screen of how I had my camera set up with tape last night. It definitely was not ideal. So the top piece to put attachments onto was broken. So I didn't want it to hold the light the entire time. It definitely didn't look super professional. Just do what you have to do to get the job done. Fortunately, the tape was black, so it blends in with my camera. It's also really dark in that kind of setting, in a bar. It all blended in, which was good. There was actually a girl when I was walking past everyone who was like, I have a better camera than him. Yeah, that's gonna happen at times. You'll definitely find people who just want to knock you down. But hey, I love that. that. That gives me motivation. Everyone's just saying, great job, great job. You're the best, you're the best. Then you get complacent and you don't try to learn new things. You don't try to push yourself. Her saying that, it was like, okay, that's probably the worst thing that's gonna happen tonight. So again, that's motivation. Yeah, I'm gonna pack up now and then I'm gonna head back to the apartment, try to get as much done as I can before the family event. Okay, so I'm at Allie's parents' house. Um, we're going to a baptism. I just wanna show you guys what I did really quick. So I have Allie's TV here and then had an HDMI in the back. So I hooked the HDMI up to my tower. And then I have my drives with all the memory on it. And then my bag that I transported everything in. So I have that hooked up and then I have the keyboard and the mouse up here. I'm just uploading to the internet while I'm gone. This will help me get things done while I'm not here and just let the computer load. Unfortunately, it's just things I have to do when I don't have a ton of internet and my laptop's not powerful enough to handle these drives and just the footage in general because it's such high quality. So in the future, I'll be able to invest in a really good laptop and a better ways of doing this. But for right now, this is how I'm doing it and it'll get the job done. Liam is hard on the grind right now. He didn't have a computer, so he's using... I look like a total clown. <laughs> Show them all this. He's, he's using my TV. I think this TV too is 720p. Look, your screen resolution is below the minimum required. She called that. Does that mean How I'm do you feel? I'm just happy I'm able to see something. Otherwise, I'd be working off of just me guessing the buttons. Driving back to the apartment, I just made a huge bot move. Here I am driving and I'm like, wow, like I'm surprised it's taking me through these back roads. These are really nice towns. And then I'm seven minutes away. I'm like, something's not right. I look at the GPS and I went to the wrong town. Typed in the address and I hit go. I always make sure the town looks right. It was the same amount of time as usual. Basically have to drive double the distance. I'm obviously tired and worn out. So yeah, when I get back though, upload some photos. I also have to wrap up two recap videos from the football videos this weekend. Okay, so it's currently the end of week two, week three of the football season, but week two of these videos. It is almost 1 a.m. But yeah, I still am wrapping up the week one video and, and then I wrapped up the recaps for football for this week. So I just have two more to post tomorrow and then I'll be working on top plays and then working on all of the videography stuff outside of sports, such as the drone video from the, the convention center I filmed at, the DJ event, the realtor, etc. So I have a long week ahead of editing, but in a good spot. So I'll see you in week three. Yeah.